What if you could possess the unshakable confidence of a Roman emperor? The Stoic wisdom of Marcus Aurelius might hold the answer. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy born in the heart of Athens, is a practical guide to life that empowers individuals to lead lives of tranquility, virtue and wisdom. It's a philosophy not just for the scholars, but for anyone who seeks to navigate through life's storms with grace and resilience. And who better exemplifies this philosophy than Marcus Aurelius, the Roman Emperor and a devoted Stoic. His life was a testament to the power of Stoicism in fostering self-confidence. He ruled one of the most powerful empires on earth, yet he remained a humble student of philosophy, constantly striving for wisdom and virtue. Marcus Aurelius's commitment to Stoicism wasn't a casual hobby. It was a way of life, a philosophy that guided his rule and his personal life. His Stoic teachings, penned in his personal journal later known as Meditations, continue to inspire millions around the world. They reveal a man who was deeply introspective, resilient and wise beyond his years. A man who understood the power of self-confidence and self-control. Now imagine if we could harness that same stoic wisdom and self-confidence that guided an emperor. What if we could apply the teachings of Marcus Aurelius to our lives? How would that change our view of the world, our interactions with others and our perception of ourselves? To answer these questions, I decided to embark on a journey, a 30-day challenge of living as Marcus Aurelius. For the next month, I will strive to live by the principles of Stoicism, seeking wisdom in simplicity, tranquility in adversity, and confidence in self-awareness. This journey won't be easy. It will require dedication, introspection, and a willingness to challenge our preconceived notions. But I believe that by embracing the principles of Stoicism, we can cultivate a sense of self-confidence that is unshakable, just like the confidence of a Roman emperor. Join me as I journey through 30 days of living as Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and a Roman emperor. Day one, and the journey begins. The Stoic path is not easy, but it is rewarding. In the hushed hours of the early morning, we start by embracing acceptance. Acceptance that we cannot control everything around us, that the world is as it is. This is not a call for passivity, but a call to focus our energy on what we can influence. The first few days are a battle, a struggle against old habits and patterns of thought. We grapple with our need to control, to fix, to manipulate. We learn to let go, to accept, to be. It's not easy, it's not comfortable, but it's necessary. As the days roll on, we delve into the practice of mindfulness, being present, being fully engaged in the here and now. We learn to quiet the noise, to listen to the silence, to find peace in the midst of chaos. This is a challenge in a world that constantly demands our attention, that constantly pulls us in a million different directions. In the quiet moments, we find clarity. In the stillness, we find strength. We then move on to resilience. Life is a series of ups and downs, a constant ebb and flow. We learn to ride the waves, to stand firm in the face of adversity. We learn to see difficulties not as stumbling blocks, but stepping stones. We learn to see every setback as a setup for a comeback. The initial days are tough, they test our resolve, but with each passing day we grow stronger, we become more resilient. We learn to see the world through the stoic lens, to find peace in acceptance, clarity in mindfulness, strength in resilience. The first week ends, and the lessons learned are invaluable. We've conquered our need for control, embraced the present moment, and learned to stand firm in the face of adversity. But the journey is just beginning. The path of Stoicism is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's not about reaching a destination, it's about enjoying the journey. It's about becoming the best version of ourselves one day at a time. The first week ends, and the lessons learned are invaluable but the journey is just beginning. Scene script, day 15, the challenge continues. The stoic practices are becoming a part of daily life. We've reached the midpoint of this 30-day journey into the world of stoicism and the teachings of Marcus Aurelius. Already there's been a noticeable shift in mindset and approach to life. The journey hasn't been easy, but it's been immensely rewarding. One of the most significant changes has been in the realm of emotional control. Prior to beginning this challenge, emotions often felt like a wild horse, unpredictable and hard to tame. But guided by the Stoic philosophy, there's been a newfound understanding that we control our reactions. Emotions are no longer the masters, but the servants. 
This period has also been an exercise in focusing on what's within control. It's one of the core principles of Stoicism and it's been transformative. The realization that we can't control external events but can control our response to them changes the entire perspective on life's challenges. And speaking of challenges, the Stoic view of obstacles has been another game changer. Inspired by the words of Marcus Aurelius who said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Obstacles are no longer seen as hindrances, but as opportunities for growth and learning. Coupled with these principles, there's been a growing sense of self-confidence. It's not the kind that comes from external validation, but the kind that's rooted in inner strength and resilience. It's the confidence that comes from knowing that you can handle whatever life throws at you. Not because you're invincible, but because you've cultivated the mental fortitude to deal with it. With each passing day, the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and the Stoic philosophy becomes more ingrained. The challenge continues, but the journey is less daunting. There's a sense of calmness that wasn't there before, a tranquility that comes from understanding and accepting the ebb and flow of life. As we reach the halfway point, the stoic way of life is starting to make sense, and with it, self-confidence is growing. Day 30, the end of the journey, but in truth, it's just the beginning. The final stretch of our 30 days Stoic challenge was a testament to the transformative power of this ancient philosophy. It was during these last days that the fruits of Stoic practice truly began to ripen. Each day brought with it a fresh perspective, a new sense of calm and resilience, and a heightened understanding of self. The Stoic teachings, once abstract concepts, became living, breathing parts of everyday life. The clarity, peace and self-assuredness that came with this integration were nothing short of astounding. In the face of adversity, there was equanimity. In moments of triumph, there was humility. And in every moment, there was confidence. This was not the brash, loud confidence of bravado, but the quiet, unshakable confidence of knowing oneself and one's place in the world. It was the confidence of a Roman emperor, the confidence of Marcus Aurelius. The key takeaways from this 30-day journey into Stoicism are manifold. First and foremost, Stoicism teaches us that we are not the victims of our circumstances, but the masters of our reactions. It shows us that our happiness is not dependent on external factors, but on our own internal state of mind. It reminds us that we have the power to shape our own reality, to choose our own path, to live according to our own values. Stoicism also imparts a deep sense of self-confidence. This confidence comes from understanding that we are enough, just as we are. It comes from knowing that we are in control of our own lives, that we are capable of facing any challenge that comes our way. It comes from the realization that we are not alone in our struggles, that we are part of a larger whole, interconnected with all of life. So, what if you could possess the unshakable confidence of a Roman emperor? Well, the truth is you can. All it takes is a commitment to the Stoic path, a path that anyone can walk if they so choose. 